Hi there guys, Joe the Pet here with an ad review for Six Guns. So this is a third person shooter that takes place in Old West, much like Red Dead Redemption. And it's open world mostly, but it's not very big. There's only two zones. There's Oregon and Arizona. You can run around and you get a horse. So you can ride him. So basically uh, you tap on this map and you get all these different quests that you can choose from. Like this one's new and there's a total of 40 quests and there are different levels. Like the first time I do this it'll be level 1 and then later on I'll pop up again and be level 2 and each time it's going to be harder with new enemies or more enemies and then better reward, more experience. I can ride around like this and I can make him run fast if I want to. And also they have uh, hidden objects laying around the maps just like most uh, open world games. Like see the dream catcher right there. I have to get like 40 of those and then I get something. Oh, there's 30 in Oregon. Okay, there's there's some in Oregon and some in Arizona. So you have quick travel in this game. So let's just say if I wanted to go over here and save the princess, I press OK and then tap this right here and it's going to take me over to where that quest is. One of them called me a puto earlier. I was like, dang, man, jeez. And you can either shoot like this or you can go up against a wall and you can blind shoot or you can blind fire. You can go into your shop right here and you can upgrade your weapons if you want to. I can buy longer range bullets, so I just upgraded my weapon, my carbine. And you can aim down the sights like this and get a better precision shot. But the, the aiming is not really great in this game. It automatically aims. I'm sure there's a way to turn it off, but I kind of like it the way it is. Because <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Uh, get in the head. Yeah. See, so if you do it like that. If you turn off the auto aim, I think it would work. Blah. You run up on me like that. And reloads up here. You have your health, you have experience, and your level. Uh, this is the number of like sheriff badges. And that's kind of like in-game currency, like in-app purchase currency. And then you have gold, which you can buy stuff with. See, in the shop here, you have stuff you can buy with gold. And it has a level base. Or... See right here, like this sawed-off shotgun, you know, the good stuff is going to be uh, bought with in-app purchase money, like this. You earn these as you level, but it's like one a level, so it's going to take a really long time to save up for anything. Now, if you're up close and, and personal fighting somebody, you can come up to them, and you can kick them. Kick them on the ground. Why aren't you getting down? Get down. There you go. You just be like, hey, stay down. Ah, I said stay down. <laughs> that was glitchy. Yeah, stay down. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do? Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, hey. Can you just touch her? To unlock doors, you have to solve these little puzzles like this. Like that. You can only have a certain amount of moves. It's displayed down in the bottom left right there. That's not there right now, but during the puzzle. You use the left thumb stick to move around, just like most game off games. You press this chamber here to pull out your weapon, and you aim out the sights like this. And you can move your thumb around to uh, aim. And if you're running around, you can roll like this, just by pressing that button. You can press your map here, and you can go into your satchel to look at your inventory. As far as I found, you cannot sell things, so you can only make money by going through quests. And over here you have the journal, which is basically your quest log. There's also zombies and witches, or banshees, I don't know what they are. Say this dude right here. Or they call them night walkers, sorry. They reload here. Almost out of ammo. Whoa, see it climbing on the walls. Ah, ah. Bad night walkers. 
Woo! Die. Thank you. And reload it real quick. That's something you want to keep in mind. Oh my gosh. See, those are the witches. Ha ha. You lose. Uh. Uh, see. Uh, oh god, oh god. And reload real quick. Run and gun, run and gun. There we go. Now those, those, uh, they cast magic. You just have to dodge them when it casts. There's other supernatural enemies you'll come across, but I haven't seen them yet. Oh, that's like some sort of demon worshiper, and that's a demon statue. Ah, ah, come on, I'm reloading. There you go. Good job. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate it. Get some. Uh, don't come at me with a knife. Get away. Yeah, get down there. Get down. Now, something you need to keep in mind when you're picking up stuff, you have very little places to put your stuff. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five slots. And the next slot to unlock is 1,250 gold. So that's a lot of money. I think the first one was like a thousand. Now this is a free to play game guys and I know everybody's skeptical about it. I've played a lot of the quests already and I've not needed to buy anything. Now if you want to get the really cool stuff and the really powerful weapons, like this horse is 150 sheriff badges. Wagon of Stars is $50. So that horse is $25. That's insane. That's $25 horse. But they also give you like cool stuff that you get naturally over time. So it kind of rewards you for not playing a lot at one time. See, like I'm gonna get some cool ammo for free for in 40 hours. I'll say in about five hours, I'm gonna get some rifle ammo. You have different outfits and stuff, and those are actually you see right here their armor. It looks like level 40, maybe the highest level. 40 or 50. I'm just guessing. Look, look at this weapon. Oh my god, the Crucificator. Good gosh, it looks awesome. Oh my god. Why why are you coming at me like that? Ah back up. Back up. I'm trying to do an app review. God dang it. Dare. Huh? 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 Why do you have a mask on? Get back. I'm reloading. Get back. What the heck? Get back, woman. You know what? Here, just die. So overall guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this four out of five stars. The graphics are really good. And even though it's a free to play game, you don't need to buy any of the in-app purchases. They just make the game a lot easier. And in my experience, uh, I haven't had to buy anything. If you're low on health, just go ahead and die and respawn and start the quest over again. Otherwise you have to use up, uh, I think it's one star to buy full health or partial health. It's two stars to revive. And I think you start over right where you died, which is cool. But these are more or less like little dungeons. But you'll have all sorts of quests. There's this one. There's one with different waves of supernatural things coming at you. And there's another one with waves of guys coming at you, just regular people. And there's one with uh, horse races. And there are a few others. There's only 40 different missions or quests, if you want to call them that. So it's not a huge variety, but you keep doing them over and over again. It'll probably get repetitive after a, uh, after a time. But again, this is a free game. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!